According to the thesis of this book, the author of Mark's Gospel was not writing history, but rather the author borrowed extensively from the works of the ancient Greek poet Homer, using a practice called mimesis, the process of borrowing an element from one work and reshaping it to another. In antiquity, the word mimesis imitation was used by such writers on art as Plato, Aristotle, and Plutarch with a number of different meanings, as a rhetorical exercise is concerned, not with the speaking or writer's matter, but with his manner of speaking or writing it is concerned, not with what he says, but how he says it. The concern was to imitate style, not substance. Pupils might be given a fable and told to illustrate it from some historical occurrence or conversely be given a historical narrative and required to find a fable to suit it. Thus, mimesis left room for a technique to take from works of fiction and find real history to match it, or vice versa.